Lawyers for Donald Trump left a Washington, D.C. courthouse on Monday declining to answer questions from reporters after the judge overseeing the federal trial over the former president's efforts to overturn his 2020 election defeat set the start date for March 4th. That's one day before the Super Tuesday primary when Republican voters in more than a dozen states will decide whether to nominate Trump, who leads his rivals by a wide margin, in the 2024 race for the White House. Trump's lawyers had pressed for an April 2026 trial date well past the presidential election, arguing that they needed time to go through the 12.8 million pages of evidence. Special counsel Jack Smith had sought a January trial date, with jury selection beginning in December of this year. My office will seek a speedy trial so that our evidence can be tested in court and judged by a jury of citizens. Judge Tanya Chutkin said on Monday that Trump's lawyers did not need until 2026 to prepare and should have already gotten a good start, adding that the public had a right to a, quote, prompt and efficient resolution to the trial. Trump said in a post on his Truth Social platform that he will appeal the March trial date without giving further details on how or when the appeal will be made. The March 4th start date means Trump will likely have to stand trial in at least three separate criminal cases while he is campaigning for the Republican nomination to take on Democratic President Joe Biden in the 2024 election. On March 25th, Trump is scheduled to stand trial in New York on charges of concealing a hush money payment to a porn star. A third trial is scheduled for May 20th in Florida on federal charges Trump illegally retained classified documents. A trial date for the fourth criminal case in Georgia, which also stems from trying to overturn his 2020 election loss, has not yet been set. In the first major hearing of the racketeering case, one of Trump's 18 co-defendants, former White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows, was in Georgia on Monday pressing to move his trial to federal court, where he might face a more sympathetic jury. Meadows, who was accused of arranging calls in which prosecutors say Trump pressured election officials, testified that he was just doing his job. Federal law prohibits states from prosecuting the activities of U.S. officials carrying out their duties, but the prosecutors in the case argued that his actions were not necessary and proper duties for a U.S. president and his chief of staff. Trump has portrayed all four criminal prosecutions as politically motivated attempts to stop him from returning to power, he has pleaded not guilty in three of those cases. A court filing on Monday showed that Trump's arraignment in Georgia is scheduled for September 6th.